Hello, we'll take up an example now to test the consistency of data. तो यहाँ पे आपको data की consistency check करनी है. Remember data को हम consistent कब कहते हैं? जब कोई भी frequency, class frequency negative ना हो. So the data must not contain any negative class frequency. Also, कोई भी class frequency total population से greater नहीं हो सकती. मतलब each of the class frequencies must be less than or equal to n. तो शुरू करते हैं इस example से. n is equal to 1000. Frequency of a is 150. Frequency of b is 300. a b frequency is 200. अब ये हम easily check कर सकते हैं consistency with the help of nine square table which I've already drawn. We just need to fill up the values. So let's begin. N is equal to 1000, so here the frequency is 1000. A ki frequency is 150, so here you have 150. Frequency of B is 300 and frequency of AB is 200. Now, if you observe in the very first row itself, AB 200 hai or total of A is 150. So if you subtract these two, यानी कि 150 minus 200, तो यहाँ पर frequency आ जाती है minus 50. So that is a big major issue over here, right? So you are getting a negative class frequency. Hence the given data is inconsistent. तो अब reason क्या लिखोगे? As frequency of a beta is minus 50, therefore the given data is inconsistent <coughs> so 9 square table say up easily verify kar sakte hai ki data consistent hai ya nahi ab ek aur example lete hai consistency se related in a survey of 500 persons 300 were married and 250 were successful executives 198 successful executives were married is the data consistent? So, here we have to define our attributes. Define karne so, let us define the attributes. Suppose aap A, kehte hai, A represents the attribute married. Correct? So, obviously, alpha kya represent karega? Alpha would represent unmarried. फिर दूसरी हम बात कर रहे हैं पे successful executives की. So, हम B को define कर देते हैं as successful executives okay and beta ho jayega uska opposite unsuccessful executives okay so a becomes married alpha is unmarried b successful executives beta unsuccessful executives so in a survey of 500 persons, yani ki n ki value aapko di hai 500. 300 were married, yani ki frequency of A is 300. 250 were successful executives, yani B ki jo frequency hai, wo hai 250. And 198 successful executives were married, to married yani A. Successful executives, yani B. So, ye jo frequency hai, wo hai 198. Now, again, we can easily prepare the 9 square table. So, let's do that A, alpha, and total. Then, ye A, alpha, total, pehle bana leta hon. Okay. Now, you have B. Over here, it's beta. And last, me yaha par aega total. Okay. So let's fill up the values here AB, here it is alpha B, so total either B aega, here it would be A beta, alpha beta, over here beta, then you have frequency of A, alpha and lastly N. So N key value hai 500, A frequency is 300, the frequency of B is 250. A, B is 198. Now, this is 500. This one is 300. So, if you subtract, you get 200. <coughs> Ab ye hai 500. Usme se ye 250 less ho jayega. So, beta would be 250. 
देन नेक्स्ट ये आएगा थ्री हंड्रेड लेस वन नाइन्टी एट सो थ्री हंड्रेड लेस वन नाइन्टी एट इफ यू सब्रैक्ट � Next 250 less 198. So 250 less 198. That gives me 52. Correct. And lastly 200 less 52. So 200 less 52 gives me 148. 148. और अगर हम ये total भी check करें तो 250 आता है. So there are no negative frequencies at all. Also, the totals, if you see, they are matching. So, both the conditions are satisfied. No negative frequencies. Totals match. Hence, we say the given data is consistent. So, <clears throat> here it was just an example of a word problem. So, pehle aap attributes define kar dijiye. Phir jo data diya hai, usko note down kar dijiye, symbolic form mein. Then, prepare the 9 square table. और आपको चेक करना है कहीं भी नेगेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी है नहीं सारे टोटल्स मैच हो रहे हैं यस सो द गिवन डेटा इज कंसिस्टेंट